Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Daily Debate uh, live here on Live TV International. I'm Taghreed Hussain, and I have the pleasure of your company for the coming hour. We'll be talking about important stories in the headline. One of the important stories, one of the important uh, headlines, Egypt and Hungary, new horizons of cooperation between both countries. Egypt and Hungary have enjoyed uh, historically strong relations uh, throughout their rich histories. There are several important milestones that have provided in the existence of connections and also relations between the two friendly people in the different walks of life. Recently, those relations have seen another chapter of cooperation that has been uh, opened through important uh, visits, the first by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to Budapest and the second on 2016 by Hungary's Prime Minister, Excellency Viktor Orban, that made a quantum leap to the Egyptian-Hungarian relations and also took them to uh, new dimensions and momentum, especially in the economic field. This is part of an overall strategy of Egypt to open up to the whole world, and, and this in order to explore different uh, opportunities between Egypt and uh, different countries. Hungary was a country that has always had a constant, constant relations uh, with Egypt, and Hungary had supported Egypt in different positions and also different Middle East countries. Uh, causes. Uh, tonight we have uh, the honor to host the uh, Excellency Ambassador Dr. Peter Kvek, Hungary's Ambassador to Egypt. Thank you so much, Excellency, for coming to the debate live tonight. Thank you for the kind invitation. Thank you, sir. And with His Excellency, we're going to read further into this important chapter in the relations between Egypt and Hungary. We're going to open together this chapter, the different dimensions, not only the political uh, level, seeing uh, eye to eye vis-a-vis -vis important uh, issues politically, but also on the economic front and on the front of the uh, soft power, the dimension of projects and more. Let's watch this report and we'll be back. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban visited Cairo at the beginning of the month along with the Hungarian Ministers of Foreign Affairs and Commerce, as well as top business executives in a three-day official trip where he met with President Fatih Sisi, as well as a number of high-ranking officials and businessmen. President Sisi and the Hungarian Prime Minister agreed during their Cairo talks to bolster trade cooperation and join forces in the fight against terrorism. Sisi told a nationally televised press conference that the two leaders discussed recent developments in the Middle East and Europe, as well as pressing issues affecting stability and security in the region, mainly in Syria and Libya. He added that they also discussed means to bolster mutual ties in all fields and promote economic cooperation and investment. They also discussed fighting terrorism and extremism and curbing illegal immigration. Orban described talks with al-Sisi as constructive, saying that the success of the Egyptian president is in the interests of Hungary. Orban highlighted plans to reinforce counter-terrorism efforts. He said stability in Libya is a pivotal matter for Egypt and the European Union that can only be achieved through a strong army and by cutting off aid to armed factions in the country. The Hungarian Prime Minister said that Cairo and Budapest agreed to boost cooperation in water, agriculture and education, as well as bolster investment in the energy sector. After the meeting, both witnessed the signing of a number of cooperation agreements related to military cooperation, international cooperation, the media sector, and civil aviation, as well as a number of memorandum of understandings in various fields, including agriculture and water resources. There was also a memorandum of understanding and a letter of intent for economic cooperation. The Hungarian side will also fund and import 700 train carriages for the education railway in a deal worth 900 million euros. The LOL signed between the Egyptian ministers of international cooperation, finance and transport and the CEO of the Hungarian Export-Import Bank also includes 80 train carriages to be given to the Egyptian national railways as a gift worth a 100 million euros.